All right, today's post is going to be focused entirely on where my thinking process is at while performing each one of these combinations and or individual movement patterns. So it's all going to be about the mind body the mind aspect, excuse me, the mo mental aspect of the mind body connection. So this is entirely going to be about what my brain is thinking as my body is performing this. As for the uh, the video format itself, something I've been finding late has aided me lately in producing more content and being a little more uh, productive. Well, how many different ways can I say productive? Whatever, I'm a dingus. Um, so basically, I, I, I want to keep my artsy fartsy nerd aspect. So I'm going to keep doing uh, my my fun little story edits, my 15 second story and reel edits, and then I'm always going to just comp you know like kind of like group them together and put them into uh, some kind of some kind of useful post that follows some sort of format so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing my little artsy fartsy uh, dweeby highlight reel things that I do with like changes in speed and ch you know like music and this that the other thing you know just <laughs> being the old midlife crisis dude that I am <laughs> and then I'm going to uh the, the, you know, the following day or so, make a main post on it where I just break down either the the movement, the the mindset, the, anything. You know, the equipment being used, just something that I can make that of value that that'll assist the community. All right. So anyway, uh, here I go. So dragonflies. My opinion: the most important exercise in calisthenics. These are huge. I I, I can't go without them. I, they're they're my bread and butter. So what I'm focused on here is hip drive, hip drive, hip drive. I'm trying to chase perfectly pinned straight body alignment through hip drive. So even when I pull my knees into the tuck, I'm going in, I'm rounding my back. Now as I extend, I'm driving those hips. Hip drive, hip drive, hip drive is everything I focus on. As for my upper body, my arms, I'm just pressing upward into the, into the pad. I'm always directing force upward. I'm never pulling backwards and sliding along the ground. I don't want that. Um, micro adjustments, things that I also would, would recommend that I do focus on. Squeezing my butt cheeks, tucking my chin a little, not over-exaggerated, tucking my chin, and then also pressing my tongue into the roof of my mouth. Just uh, It just makes, me, makes you stronger. It's a little strength hack, at least for me and for some other people. As for this, I slowed this down to half speed to show how Renee does the walk. So we're always... Just small knee movements and then hip drive. It's all about the hip drive. So all that, that, that beautiful line that we're always looking for, it comes from hip drive. So we're always focusing mentally on achieving a hip drive. I can't, I'm being redundant. I just keep saying hip drive, hip drive, hip drive. How many times can a man say hip drive in a video? One more, hip drive. That's how many times I'm saying it. I'm always driving my hips. As for uh, the, 90, the negative portion of the 90 degree push up. I'm not great at it yet. I can't perform a full rep, so I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna avoid the more complex things and just right now I'm gonna focus on the lever aspects. As for this, these are just Russian dips. I'm just keeping my body tight. So what I'm thinking of there, I'm just keeping my body tight and allowing myself to transition through the movement pattern effortlessly. I wanted to talk about the uh, the walking front levers, but again, it's the same as the dragon flag hip drive. So, I mean, that's what I love about the dragon flag. It really carries over so beautifully to to levers. And again, the name of the game for me there, hip drive. Same, here, hip drive. My, my legs are a little stacked over my hips, so it's, uh, it's almost like a tuck straddle lever there, but I'm trying to lengthen my body. Even though I'm trying to you know, widen my body with that wide straddle, still I'm trying to lengthen through the hips, and I get that through hip drive. So here, small, small bends in the knees. All I'm focusing on is with each step, driving my hip to reestablish a very straight body line. That is always 100% of the time my focus. I'm going to avoid the bent arm straddle hold into the Stadler, uh, into the Stadler rings turned out Stadler hold. I don't even know. Split, split L sit. I don't know. All right. Um, this, so my main focus on this was actually going into the straddle lever and then closing into the more difficult back lever hold. So that was my, my mental focus there, is I wanted to start with the easy hold and then end with the more difficult. For this, I mean, we're just having fun. I mean, I don't even know what else to say other than we're wild men with wild hair swinging around in a wild location. That's what's going through our mind here is, I mean, essentially, 
like what's going on through through our mind here i don't know if you were to just look at it you would probably just assume paint fumes because we look like we were huffing paint before attempting this yeah basically the main aspect is don't smack our head or feet on the soffit and try not to die the rings are a little higher here and uh i guess if you were to ask renee he'd probably say i was trying he was trying to time his muscle ups with the direction of swing his muscle ups and levers will be timed based on the direction of the swing Blah, blah, blah. I digress. We were just having fun. There's not much to talk about there. As for this, I'm always trying to lock my arms out and get my butt over my head. Um, my straddle was disgusting here. Again, I'm trying to keep my hips stacked over my shoulders, but I'm, I'm going to struggle. This is going to take a long time before I have any meaningful uh, single arm hold on these one arm, one arm handstands. So this is a long journey. So I'll be sharing a lot of my thought process as I progress. And you won't see too much progression. <laughs> this is going to be micro progressions. So here, I like, uh, obviously, the higher the box, the more difficult the, uh, the one arm aspect. Um, really, all I'm focusing on is changing, changing my body shape. So I'm going into the pencil or the regular stand, and then I'm going out into a wide straddle. When I go into the straddle, I'm just trying to keep my hips over my head, and I'm trying to bring my head a little closer to my arm. As for the arm, I'm locking my elbow, and I'm trying to drive my shoulder as hard into my ear as possible. So maximum pressure from the shoulder. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Ask for more.